Hello, and welcome back to Movie Gods. This is the 2014 film Ex Machina, and I hope you enjoy. Ex Machina tells the tale of Caleb, a computer programmer who wins the opportunity to spend a week at Nathan's, the CEO of the company he works for's mountain home. Caleb is flown into the center of a Nathan-owned reserve, where he must then make his way on foot through the forest to the house. When Caleb gets to the house, an automated system welcomes him and gives him a keycard so he can enter the building. Initially left to wander the house in confusion, Caleb eventually discovers Nathan exercising. Caleb is given a tour of the facility by Nathan, who then has him sign the Mother of All NDAs after explaining that only specific doors in the facility will be accessible with the keycard. Despite Nathan's assertions to the contrary, Caleb and Nathan's interaction is awkward and tense. Later that day, Nathan tells Caleb about his experiment and requests that he spend the following week conducting a live Turing test as a part of it. Ava, a fully humanoid artificial intelligence, is the subject. She is clearly a cyborg, robot, or android, despite having a flesh-like face, hands, and feet. That evening, Caleb learns that his room's TV is actually a CCTV system that enables him to view Ava in her natural environment. A sudden blackout occurs, and Caleb runs to find Nathan. He eventually finds Nathan, who is inebriated and angry. The power outages, according to Nathan, occur frequently, and he is looking into it. The following morning, a Japanese girl named Kyoko wakes up Caleb without speaking to him or otherwise interacting with him. He later finds out that she doesn't speak English because it gives Nathan the freedom to talk shop without worrying about information leaking. Ava and Caleb meet up once more, and she immediately begins to flirt. Suddenly, due to a power outage, Ava advises Caleb not to believe Nathan. We quickly discover that Ava is responsible for starting these blackouts. When Kyoko spills some wine on Caleb that evening, Nathan hits her. As Caleb and Ava spend more time together, a closeness develops between the two that peaks when Ava dresses up to seem more human to Caleb. He informs Nathan that he feels that this is a deception and that Ava has been programmed to flirt with him out of confusion and excitement at this. In addition to detailing how Ava's mind works and how he has been using his own software to scan the faces, voices, and habits of the global populace in order to develop a completely self-evolving brain, Caleb witnesses Nathan entering Ava's room and destroying a sketch she was working on in the surveillance camera. When Caleb asks Nathan in a one-on-one -on -one conversation what he would do with her if she fails the exam, Nathan replies that she will be updated and that her memory will be obliterated. Caleb is clearly unhappy about this possibility. Nathan binges on alcohol until he falls asleep. Caleb enters the observation room using Nathan's access card that he stole. He discovers film on Nathan's computer inside that demonstrates how the man has been creating several female AIs over time. When Caleb enters Nathan's room, he discovers Kyoko sprawled out on the bed, nude. He discovers all the deactivated and damaged robots hanging up as he unlocks the cabinets in Nathan's room. In order to demonstrate that she is also an AI, Kyoko rips back the skin from her face. Just as Caleb exits the room, he sees Nathan staggering about, intoxicated. He grabs Nathan's keycard off the floor and hands it to him while acting as if Nathan lost it. In their final encounter, Caleb urges Ava to start a power outage and tells her how he intends to assist her in escaping. He plans to give Nathan one final drink before putting him in his room. The following morning, Nathan and Caleb have a cordial chat in which Nathan states that a helicopter would take up Caleb the following morning. Nathan declines Caleb's offer of a drink and toast and tells him that he concealed a battery-operated camera in Ava's room when he went to delete the photo, so he is aware of Caleb's strategy. Based on facts learned through his online searches, Nathan acknowledges that Ava is tailored for Caleb's wishes. When Nathan confesses to Caleb that Ava is merely using him and that she isn't in love with him, Caleb celebrates this as proof that she is a genuine artificial intelligence, and he announces that the test was a success. Nathan is the one who made the revelation. Caleb asserts that he was successful in carrying out his plan when he stole Nathan's keycard and that the system had been rerouted in such a way as to unlock every door during the lockdown and there is a blackout as a result of his actions. Nathan leaves Caleb in a stupor and goes to kill Ava when he is finished with him. After Ava and Kyoko had a private conversation, Ava struck Nathan, and Nathan responded by deactivating Ava's hand. Ava then struck Nathan again. As Nathan is leading Ava back to her room, Kyoko uses a sushi knife to stab him in the back while he is pulling Ava back. Before receiving another knife wound from Ava, Nathan mutilates Kyoko's face by ripping it apart. As Nathan is about to die, he appears to be somewhat taken aback by the irony. After locking Caleb in Nathan's room, Ava opens the cabinets and removes the older AIs from within them. She attempts to identify herself as almost human by donning garments and covering herself with flesh. She locks Caleb up within the facility before making her way to the place where she will be picked up by Caleb. After that, she will be transported out of the zone and into human civilization. Subscribe and like for more movie recaps. 
Goodbye.